Hello and welcome to day 9 of our 12 days of Christmas special here on Georgie's Stripping the Dipping podcast. I'm your host F1 Blag and today, quite simply, we bring you 9 minutes of inspiration. One of my personal highlights from season 2 was the opportunity to interview young entrepreneur Ryan Yates. Ryan is the founder of Idachi. You'll find out what that stands for shortly. But his mission is to increase the adoption of science, technology, engineering, arts and maths among children and adults from all backgrounds. So my first question to Ryan was, what is Idachi and what does it stand for? <laughs> That's the question I get asked the most. <laughs> um, it's called Adachi, Adachi Motorsport. Um, so it's, it, it, I'll tell you what it stands for as well. Um, so it's, uh, it stands for inclusive, I can't speak, inclusivity, diversity, adaptability, creativity, and integrity. Um, and the idea behind it is we, we wanted a, a company name that uh, embodied what we thought were the most important values um, within our small team that we are. Um, within the careers that we've had so far and what we uh, felt was most important to uh, a young person's career as they move through steam if, if we want to call it that and specifically motorsport too um and the values that i think you know the likes of regulators like motorsport uk really want to champion as well within within racing and keeping things not just competitive and fair but also uh inclusive and, and diverse as well so uh yeah that's kind of where the name uh, originated from um but yeah the startup itself um really how you view the startup is it sort of depends on who you are so if you're a young person um you will get to know us hopefully quite well as uh, a stem club provider so essentially our stem clubs will run um uh, sort of learning and rate three race championships uh within the sort of science technology engineering arts and maths field if you like so um, the three championships themselves are slot car racing or scale electrics, as most of the listeners will probably know it as, um, remote control car racing uh, and karting. Uh, and the idea is that we can provide uh, a pathway for someone as, as young as at the age of eight. And we are trying to work on something that will we'll lower that to, to six uh, all the way through their education experience, all the way up to 18. Um, because what we found is when we looked at uh, lots of motorsport educational competitions and um, so what exists in the market currently is you do one of these competitions. I won't name many because I, I think lots of them are great and I've even taken part in some myself. So, you, But you take part in the competition, you maybe do it for one year, maybe two, and then it's not really clear what you're supposed to do next um, and what that next step is for you. So what we wanted to do is create these sort of STEM clubs where it's it's very clear, you know, as you move up through your academic experience, um, you can move up through our different championships. So the age categories that they fall in um, for eight to 11 year olds, uh, so the sort of upper primary school age in the UK, uh, that's where you would take part in our slot car championship, um, where you'll be tasked with designing and 3D printing your own bodywork for a small uh, model car and then you'll get to race it in various different race formats uh, on a scale electric set within your classroom and then um, on, in bigger sort of regional and then hopefully if you're good enough uh, national uh, competitions um, the remote control car championship is more of a full sort of design build test and race experience um, and that covers age ranges from sort of 11 to 16 so sort of covering the high school ages really um, the idea is that it's integrated into the curriculum for design and technology that a student might learn across those different uh, age ranges. So it's not something additional we put on schools and young people to do. It's very much enhancing what's already there, uh, which we thought was a really important thing to focus on. Because um, a lot of people kind of bash the education system and say, oh, it doesn't make people work ready and things like that. But we actually think there's an awful lot there to make young people work ready. It's just it doesn't get exploited enough. Um, so really, our programs are designed to exploit the maximum potential of existing qualifications and projects and so on. Um, and then the final championship, which is our uh, sort of 16 to 18 year category, so sort of college age in the UK, um, that's uh, focused on the design, build, uh, test and race of a four stroke go kart. 
Um, so essentially, if I was to pick um, uh, to sort of summarize those competitions, they are combining the accessibility that you might find in taking part in something like Green Power, um, the Green Power Challenge, I should say, um, but mixed with the technical and professional development that you would get from something like a university level competition like Formula Student. Um, and then on top of that, because it's karting and, all, you know, actual you know, wheel to wheel racing in all of the forms, you get that comp extra competitive element um, thrown in as well. Um, so that's the kind of like STEM clubs part um, and how you would view as if you're if you're a young person. Um, if you're, say, a parent or someone as part of the, the sort of general public, um, you will hopefully come to know us in the future as more of a sports, uh, spectator sports and entertainment entertainment um, uh, business. So the idea is that what we want to do is take our race championships uh, and really create a immersive uh, race experience for young people and their families um, at an affordable price as well. And essentially bringing the racing away from, you know, standard race tracks that we see and into sort of cities and arena style racing where everything is sort of done to scale. So essentially um, what we what we're yeah what we're essentially really looking to do is showcase young people's talents from our STEM clubs, the best races in all of those different race championships, um, and really put them out there, um, almost in a similar style and way. If I was to liken it to something a bit like what Robot Wars used to do when it was on the BBC, you didn't have to have an awful lot of equipment and things to take part when it, in its original form anyway. Um, it kind of grew and grew and. and went down a different direction but it combined entertainment for people who were watching but also a significant stem challenge for those who were actually taking part and overall as an overall package ultimately it was just fun and that's what we really want to to get across and and us combined with some of the sponsors and partners that we're we're working with at the moment um to really just create a fun and showcase a fun kind of stem motorsport experience um, for young people and their families, no matter what their background is um, and what their academic capability is, there is something for them, essentially. Gosh, you know, I, you took it right out of the words out of my mouth, robot wars. I was just thinking when you said, you know, <laughs> getting young people doing engineering on one hand and on the other, it's entertainment. Like, yeah, absolutely. And that was huge. I think in the UK, in the US, sort of, it's it was a huge um moment maybe 20 25 years ago so um if you know i presume you're based in the uk so like if you're yeah. a parent in the uk or or perhaps even a child listening um how does one get involved like presumably you've got to start somewhere and build up like how many schools are you aiming to to reach over time yeah so we will be releasing our stem clubs from october this year so just after the start of the academic year um you can register your interest for our uh, slot car championship uh, now on our website. Um, but what we're essentially doing is building up the other championships ready for that STEM club uh, launch, if you like. Um, so those aren't fully ready yet in terms of being able to sign up and register an interest and things like that. But essentially, yeah, um, it, it can happen in two ways. You can either get involved um, by essentially your school you know, coming to us through STEM learning, who we're working with and, um, uh, and, and essentially signing up students for the STEM club, um, which may either be like an after school club outside of normal lessons, or it might be something that teachers decide, actually, we can integrate this into our normal design and technology lessons. And it just forms a normal part of the curriculum with the added benefit of it's a bit fun and we can also do some racing and, and break the lessons up a little bit, which I'm sure the students would appreciate. Um, and then uh, the, the other way is, yeah, essentially, if you're if you're a parent, uh, you can uh, go on our website and as and when we've released the STEM clubs, we'll also uh, open up the um, entry uh, into our different championships, the remote control car racing and karting um, and slot car racing and, and sign up uh, directly through us. And then we'll provide all the information essentially for uh, their uh, young ones or even themselves if they were interested uh, to get involved in the STEM clubs um, and, and yeah uh, take part that way 
Thank you very much for listening to the 12 Days of Christmas here on Georgie's Strip and the Dipping Podcast. I've been your unusual co-host, F1 Blag. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and give us a follow both on Twitter and on Instagram at Strip the Dip. Until next time, bye. <laughs>